Every now and again, there's a pick that makes you question the pick that you're currently using. Now, if you've tuned into Acoustic Tuesday in the last couple of episodes, you've seen me try out a lot of different picks. Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm, not, I'm just going through a little phase and it's fine, but I wanna share my findings with you all because I'm pretty sure we're on the same journey. We have this insatiable desire to, to, to try and chase after the perfect tone. As a guitar geek, it's just obligatory. It's in our blood, we have to do it. I, it we don't choose to do it, it just it is. Right? I thought for, for the life of me, for, for my life, I thought I'd be playing the Dunlop Altex Sharp 2.0 pick. I love this pick. It's cheap, it's pretty wear resistant, it develops a really nice bevel, awesome. And I actually featured this pick on Acoustic Tuesday episode two, if you wanna check that out. And then, just last week on Acoustic Tuesday episode 38, I found the Dunlop Prime Tone picks. Awesome, it's also made of Altex, it's got a little grippy material, it's got a hand bevel done, so it just feels nice and broken in. Okay, that was cool. And here we are on Acoustic Tuesday episode 39. And I found another pick by Dunlop that is just, I, I'm confused right now and I need your help. I found the Dunlop Flow pick. And I, I believe this is new for this year. And let me, let me share with you what I actually like about this pick. First of all, the material. It's Altex, okay? And that is probably in my top three pick materials of all time. I just love it because it produces a really wonderful, warm, round tone, but also it's, it's, it wears really well. And, by, by, and when I say that, I mean, it doesn't wear very much at all. It develops a nice bevel and that's about it. Um, but the Dunlop Flow Pick, I was intrigued because of its shape, and I was also intrigued because it has a little bit of a, a grip texture to it. Not something I, I necessarily was, was the deal breaker for me or, or something that was like, oh, I have to have that pick because it has the grip on it. It's just a nice addition, much like the Prime Tone pick. But I like the shape of the Dunlop Flow pick. And it has a polished edged edge. It has a polished edge. It's not beveled like the Prime Tone. And so the reason I like this pick is because I can get a, a fatness and a warmth out of the guitar, but still retain clarity, okay? What I noticed with the Prime Tone pick is that it has this really nice bevel on it, but I was losing a little bit of articulation. It's really great if you wanna bring really nice, kind of beefy sound out of your guitar, but if you want clarity, this is a great happy medium because the Dunlop Flow Pick allows you to bring in a, a nice kind of warm, strong, fat note, but still retain some of its edginess. So I wanna do a quick rating here. This is the first time I've ever rated anything because I've been trying so many picks out lately, I figured, what the hell, I should rate these things. So in terms of, of on the tonal spectrum, if you have really crisp and clear over here and kind of round and warm over here, I would put the Dunlop Altex Sharp on the crisp and clear side of things. Nice edgy pick, good crispy notes. I would put the Prime Tone pick with the, with the nice hand bevel on the warm round tone side of things because you're lacking just a touch of clarity. It's still a comfy pick, but it just doesn't have the clear crispness that the Altex Sharp does. Now the Dunlop Flow Pick, this one sits right in the middle because you get the clarity, but you also get the roundness. So I would definitely try these out. Now, I was trying to find a video so you could see the surface of these picks and I couldn't really find a good close up, but I did find a really interesting video that uh, shares uh, John Petrucci's thoughts on the Dunlop Flow Pick and his whole story of discovering it, which actually mentions acoustic guitar. And I thought Noah would like it too. So let's, let's hear from John Petrucci. Everything leading up to, to this pick, it was some sort of like divinely planned intervention or something because I just by a fluke went to um, a concert uh, at Carnegie Hall and I'm watching this show and these, there's like these ridiculous shredding acoustic gypsy jazz guys. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is right up my alley. This is ridiculous. So anyway, after that, I started kind of researching and getting into these different guys. And, how they played and each guy had in common a certain kind of pick which was a thicker material so i started just kind of thinking you know a thicker type of pick might be better for trying to get you know a really a powerful loud accurate sound out of the guitar even more so than i'm used to with the picks that i've played my whole life now we fast forward to playing a show. All right, so I clearly like that video because he refers to acoustic guitars and he has a beard 
and long hair. I mean, it's it's real. It's it's a winning scenario for me. But I knew that Noah was going to like it for a much different reason. Noah, can you please uh, share why I thought you would like that? Well, <laughs> John Petrucci uh, just happens to be a founding member and guitarist of the Prague rock band Dream Theater, <laughs> which uh, is one of the most influential bands in my existence. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting note here. Um, <laughs> my best friend in junior high introduced me to both Rush, the Moving Pictures album, okay, and Dream Theater's Awake album the same day. Really? Yeah, it was the same day. The and formative experience of your youth. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and there you go. And so I have been passing the torch and... My ch- my own children know and can name all the members of both Dream Theater and Rush, of course. So yes, I appreciate that you chose this video. Well, I love it. Well, I, it was funny because as I was gathering show materials, I'm playing this video, and all of a sudden Noah's next to me. He starts like doing the da da da. He starts air drumming, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, that's song blah 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 from the blah 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 album." And I was like, "Okay, well, we gotta include this video." <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, that, those are the Dunlop flow picks. Um, they come in a little bag. Well, I should say the ones that I ordered come in a little bag like this. There was three of them. I think it cost me about 10 bucks, 10, 12 bucks. I can't remember. Um, but the price range uh, on the pick is between five and twelve dollars, depending on, of course, size, thickness, quant- uh, quantity. Uh, but of course, if you're interested in trying those out, I would strongly recommend going to AcousticLife.tv.